Hello, guys. Welcome back to Prospect Talent TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hmm. Nigerians, this one now they reach us right now. According to a former aide to the former president of Nigeria, Kulok Jonathan Jackson Ute, he has revealed that President Bola Metinubu is seriously considering to step down as a Nigerian president. My people, if you say as Nigerians, don't they jubilate for a year, you know, uh, for comment section. Nigerian said, the best thing, that would be the best thing ever, you know, that would happen to Nigerians if President Bola Metinubu, you know, resigned. Now, the question we say, who he go come hand over, you know, the country for? Because we... We have heard that there are internal crises already that is rocking as rock. Wahala de as rock. If you can recall that last week, nobody don't talk, nobody don't act like that. The vice president can come and come talk, say, eh, this woman of he and his principal having issues, nothing like that. Too. And understand that when all these politicians don't begin to talk something like this, my brother, my sisters, wahala de grand. Now, how this matter will come be now? Because according to Jackson Ute, President Bola Metinubu might resign before 2027. And before now, they are considering, you know, to dump the vice president for a Christian vice president. And that is why they are benching the vice president. You understand? That is why they are benching the vice president. According to the report, the vice president is not being carried along. It can't be like they won't do one with it and do Osi Banjo. But at least Osi Banjo won't come on to take better, small, small. At least it is share money for markets. <laughs> but this one now, they really bench up. President Bola Metin will make sure that he pockets everybody. You understand? So that is the problem now on ground. If he's going to resign before 2027 presidential election, is he going to hand over the country to his rights? Don't also forget that Nigerians will not like this very man to be Nigerian president because of the story that has been surrounding him. You understand? That one is number one. And number two, if is he going to uh, carry out the, that's their plan, dumping the 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 vice president for 2027 election then uh, picking a christian vice president then after the election is going to resign or is going to resign before the election anyway more 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 will come up i believe that we have more more interesting times in nigeria apart from that in uh the yoruba union they don't they tell them say making step down already you understand this Yoruba has strongly urged President Bola Metinubu to resign. This is coming from his people as well, citing his economic policies as the primary causes of widespread poverty and hunger in the southwest region. Well, even I'll talk that one. Not really southwest, the Walade. The hunger, the poverty is everywhere in Nigeria. So everybody they get you know the heat. The soup, when we say, when I don't cook now, Nigerians don't they chop the soup and it's really very hot. So this Yoruba Union, you know, uh, led by uh, Olu Washei uh, Baduru, the union's convener, issued a statement condemning the government decision to rise the fuel uh, price from 600 Naira to 900 Naira per liter which has significantly worsened the plight of Nigerians struggling to afford basic necessities. So Baduru expressed deep concern that the Yoruba people, known for their rich cultural heritage and integrity, has been reduced to seeking assistance due to President Tinubu's policies. You see, Yoruba people don't turn to national beggars because the poverty, the hunger, don't, don't turn to something else. People can no longer afford, you know, three square meal. And the begging here not be, 
no be waiting person he no go talk nigerians the matter now when they grant they say now all this plenty 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 whether a mistake or one color more i've been a policies when president bola metinubu they drop for grant and it don't they affect nigerians like this who go fit i didn't go fit trace this thing because this matter you know go just easy like that you get as it is right now they are stuck uh, what they are just doing now okay anybody that talks they will come after you you understand they just they do person when they say like person when don't lost focus they they are stuck that is the truth they are stuck this country this government is stuck of ideas President Bola Metinubu is talk of ideas. Okay, uh, let's see what Nigerians have to say concerning this. Well, the day President Bola Metinubu will resign, there is going to be a national jubilation in Nigeria. Nigerians will jubilate his resignation. Well, it is the, is the best decision ever, you know, that he will take for his family and for Nigeria because this man, a time will come, he and his family will never ever see the light of the day. I don't know what the person meant by that. President Tinubu is the worst president so far in the history of Nigeria. President Bola Metinubu is a crook. Oh, I beg, make a drop out for you. Nigerians, uh, we have so many, many reactions here, but some of them are not good. I no one talk them, I no one read them out because it's not pleasant at all. How now I see this? Matter. Do you think if President Bola Metinubu resign, Nigeria economic situation will improve? How you see him if you resign, can't hand over the government to his vice president? You think Nigeria will improve? Make we hear from you. Share your thoughts below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.